I, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called The Law of the Jungle. Law of the Jungle. 1942. I'm giving you five out of five stars. I love this flick. Gene Yarborough has to be one of the greatest directors of all time. <clears throat> right up there with Adrian's favorite director Ed, Edward D. Wood Jr. <laughs> he did um, Gene Yarborough did uh, The Brute and The Devil Bat Need I say more? <laughs> Two great films a uh, couple of housekeeping items first before I go into the details. <laughs> this is a very racist movie, by the way. A lot of racial stereotypes. The uh, the natives are dumb and, uh, and aloof, to say the least. And uh, Matt, Mar Mattin Moreland? I think his name is. He was in a bunch of uh, Charlie Chan flicks. Anyways, getting back to the housekeeping items. First of all, I misspoke in my last video. I <laughs> wrongly attributed the uh, the. Uh, The last movie that I saw, I can't think of the name of it. Something Alley. Damnation Alley. That's it. Damnation Alley. I wrongly attributed the recommendation to Karate Man. And uh, I even mentioned it when Karate Man was in the chat room. He said he didn't uh, say anything. So I went ahead and attributed it to him. By mistake, thinking that the 18 dude was somehow was somehow uh, his idea, since he's into 99% of the stuff that he recommends as action or action movies. But in the back of my head, I kind of uh, I kind of figured that he might not be the uh, the recommender. Um, seeing as how he is a recommending action movies 99% of the time and this is a dystopian uh, futuristic nuclear holocaust movie um, those are from Pro Professor Quiz I was a little surprised that I disliked it although I didn't like uh, this is not a test another pr Professor Quiz recommendation so uh, anyways Professor Quiz commented in my last video that he was the recommender, and uh, I screwed up, sorry. I just scratched a car on the wall in the garage. <laughs> I'm not in trouble, but uh, my boss is telling me to be more cautious when I park cars in the uh, up upstairs in the garage with the tight space. Oh, man. I'd take a picture and... Uh, Send it to my boss. So, anyways, I could come back here at three in the afternoon, take a five-hour nap or something. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I slept for ten and a half hours yesterday, Thanksgiving Day. I tried to explain it to Adrian as a turkey day. Adrian commented on my troll two video from 10 years ago that he never saw because uh, he's only been watching my current videos so he, he asked me to uh, to watch things that I've already watched and reviewed and uh, he's not aware because he wasn't my friend prior to 5 years ago or whatever it was 6 years ago <laughs> those older videos he's not familiar with <laughs> So I, I keep sending him the link 
the links to my older videos in the comments. <laughs> that, uh, he wasn't my friend back then, 10 years ago. Um, oh, the second thing, the second housekeeping item. Um, Shadow Warriors 2, the, uh, the two versions that I saw on YouTube are already the same movie that I've watched and reviewed under a different name, something like uh, Assault on Devil's Island or something like that. I've already reviewed that movie. I'm not going to watch it again and review it, and I'm not sure why uh, Karate Man asked me to review the same movie under a different title, because <laughs> that's what it is on YouTube. Not once, but twice. <laughs> It's got uh, Terry Hulk Hogan, Shannon Tweed, Carl Weathers, Billy Blanks, and uh, Billy Drago, I think. Yeah, I've already watched that. I'm not sure what, how it's different from the movie that I've already watched and reviewed. Maybe uh, Karate Man could comment in the comments section of this video. <laughs> if he's, if he ever, uh, even bothers to watch this, because <laughs> jungle movie, it's not action. But uh, anyways, enough about the housekeeping, keeping items. I apologize to Professor Quiz. And getting back to this movie. <laughs> All right. So it's racist. There's a guy in a gorilla suit. It's just completely nuts. <laughs> Just like the Brute Man and uh, Devil Bat, which was one of my first uh, VHS purchases at Walgreens in San Carlos, I think, in the bargain bin. <laughs> Those were back when I was about 19 years old. An army of scooters here. <laughs> Electric scooters. <laughs> Anyways. I'm at work, of course. Oh, here's another one. Hi, how are you? Alright, so, uh, Law of the Jungle. <laughs> Sorry for that interruption. A bunch of motorized scooters and a homeless guy who's coming over to my garage. Better watch him. Oh, he's just going on the sidewalk. Don't hear any music coming from the garage, which is kind of weird. Anyways. Oh, now I hear it. I better go away or I'm going to get a copyright violation for being too close to the garage music. <laughs> All right, Law of the Jungle. So, um, takes place in Africa. <laughs> and um, somehow this Brooklyn gal, white woman, not very attractive, but uh, she's got a good personality. Kind of like, a, well, no, I won't say that. Stephanie is both attractive and good personality. <laughs> She's got the best of both worlds. But uh, I can't seem to uh, get her attention. I think I'm starting to annoy her. Anyway, <laughs> maybe she's found a boyfriend, though. And uh, she, she doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> Who knows? Nobody tells me nothing, man. <laughs> Law of the Jungle. So they're in Africa. Uh, this singer is um, working for this dude, Simmons. Simmons stole her passport because uh, he's 
he's working for some foreign government to uh, cause an uprising with the natives. And that's why he's holding her passport. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, but uh, that's the gist of it as far as I can tell. <laughs> so um, she meets this paleontologist, this bone scientist dude. I was on a safari with uh, Matt and Moreland, the Charlie Chan dude. <laughs> He's great in this one. He's like Step and Fetch It and that other guy that I just uh, saw in, in uh, another racist movie. <laughs> He's good. <laughs> He's... He's running away really fast, and they speed up the uh, the film, so it looks like he's he's running at two hundred miles an hour. <laughs> he's he's scared of uh, native superstition things like that. <laughs> he thinks if he buries the bones back, he's gonna he's gonna. Uh, get uh, hounded by ghosts <laughs> or something so um, so he's burying the bones back because uh, the dude dug him up and he, he committed a crime against the natives or something kind of like a, a natives here in the US they don't like <laughs> they don't like people messing with their bones okay <laughs> so um so there's that. He's uh, he's trying to put him back to uh, appease the natives. This Matt and Moreland dude, and then uh, and then the white singer girl shows up. She's in trouble because uh, she's being blamed for a murder. Uh, she was close to the guy when the guy got murdered, and then uh, it, her boss turned off the lights, so nobody could see anything. <laughs> Then you've got the Keystone cops and the, and the fake, then the foreign agent fake cops. So they're looking after, they're looking for her. And uh, because the uh, the evidence against them is is in her jacket, I don't know why they would do that. But uh, anyways, there's some kind of official document explaining all of their crimes. In her jacket. Why would they, why would they put it there, and why would they uh, even make such document? Is beyond me. But um, but they're chasing after her, and uh, she's trying to woo the uh, paleontologist guy. At first, he's reluctant, but uh, eventually, they fall in love, and they're like partners. So they get captured. By the two bad guys, Simmons gets shot because he's their contact and uh, he's in on it. So uh, they don't like him anymore, so they shoot him, I guess. <laughs> and um, so they're being held hostage. Then this uh, this Oxford ed educated African tribal leader dude <laughs> saves everybody. And that's pretty much the movie right there. Uh, great flick. Very short, only one hour long. It's on cult cinema classics. Another great cult cinema classics um, entry. I explained to you why I skipped over Shadow Warriors 2. I'm not going to watch the same movie and review it again under a different title. So uh, that's why I... Skipped over Karate Man's recommendation. Um, the uh, the assault on Devil's Island. I think that's the the title of the movie that I saw and reviewed. That's the same dang movie. That one uh, is two years earlier. So I'm a little confused as to why people would put the wrong movie title on a... Uh, movie that was two years earlier than, than the one that uh, Karate Man recommended. <laughs> Somebody help me clear up the confusion. I was confused with uh, I got 
Karate Man mixed up with Professor Quiz on a recommendation for uh, Damnation Alley also. <laughs> so I'm super confused now on two movies. Ben, are you here? I'm going to do the petrol.